You know what? I count it an honor, praise God, to be here tonight, Brother A.Y. You know, I'm glad that we know the truth tonight. Amen. We shall know the truth, and he that knows the truth, the truth shall set you free. And he that the Son has set free is free indeed. Praise God. You know what? The Lord called me into the ministry to preach the truth, preach the gospel, preach the holy word of God. Amen. You know what? A lot of people want to be entertained. It seems like we're living at a time where people's wanting to be entertained and want their ears tickled. But thank God, I'm still glad for the truth of God's word tonight. Night. Hallelujah. If you got your Bibles under the sound of my voice, I want to take you over here to the book of 2 Corinthians. The book of 2 Corinthians, long about this sixth chapter. Thank God. I want to read what God has laid on my heart. You know, Brother A.Y., so many people today has got off the mark. Got off the right road, the path that leads to everlasting life. Brother, I thank God for the word. It will correct you tonight. God's holy word will uh, uh, get you back in line tonight. Thank God. 2 Corinthians, the 6th chapter. I want to start reading down here at the 14th verse. Now, this is what we need to do tonight. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? And what concord hath Christ with Baal? And what part hath that believeth with the infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? Ye are not, ye are the temple of the living God. And God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk with them. And I will be their God and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord. Touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. The last verse right here says, And I and, and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. <laughs> Brother, there's a lot of things today. I'm just going to have to preach it straight, uh, what God give me tonight. Uh, there's a lot of things going on in God's house today that it's not pleasing to the Lord. Uh, amen. Uh, people's got off the level uh, when it comes to the word of God. Praise God. We need to stick with the scriptures. Uh, we need to make sure we're lined up uh, with the holy word of God. Not everything that's going on today uh, lines up with this book. Brother, I'd rather have the word of God today. I'd rather know the truth. There's a lot of people don't want to know the truth no more, Brother A.Y. They want their ears tickled. They want to be entertained. They come to God's church nowadays, and that's all they come for. Brother, you come in for the wrong reason. I come to get closer to the Lord my God and learn more from his holy word. If you're coming just to get uh, your ears tickle or to feel good brother you coming for the wrong reason I want you to know something there's things going on today brother A.Y. Mills uh, that it's a mockery unto God God has laid this message strong on my heart. There's things the world's coming into churches today and God's not happy with it. Amen. God's got a way of getting your attention, thank God, and showing you where you need to get back to. Brother, I'm here to tell you we're living in such a time where they think it's all right to have a worldly activities going on right in the church house. Call off church service. Let's have a Super Bowl party or whatever. Thank God you need to have a gift getting back to God party. Amen. Brother, repent and get back to God. Be, un, be unequally yoked with the unbelievers. Brother, people have left their first love. Brother, I'm here to tell you this gospel, not one jot nor one tittle of it's ever going to pass away. But brother, people's bringing in other things into God's house. And it's a mockery. And God's not pleased with it. I'm remembered of a time where Jesus come through the temple and he saw them in there buying and selling, having a big time. Brother, he was angered. Oh, he was mad. He turned over the money changers table and brother he got him a cord he wrapped it up and he began to whip them right out of God's house amen God's house is a house of prayer but you've made it into a den of thieves brother it's time to repent and get back to God's way 
Your way ain't going to do it. The world's way ain't going to do it, but this is still the way. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Brother, people want their, oh, just to have a big time nowadays. Thank God. But I want to come and learn more about my Lord. I want to know more about my Jesus. How do you learn more? How do you know more? By studying to show yourself approved, to hear the word of God, not just the hearer, but the doer. We need to apply this word and preach it not sugarcoat it hey man that's what's the problem today people have sugarcoated the word of God people have got off on some other thing they've got to worldly sorrow when it still takes godly sorrow it still takes the verses and the scriptures brother this book we got it for a reason hey man there's a lot of people think I don't need to know the word of God I don't need to study if somebody's standing up teaching about the word boy I, that's boring to me. I'm going to get off somewhere where they're up singing and shouting and running the aisles and, and having a big time. Brother, I'm here to tell you that's all well and good, but if it don't back up with the word of God, I don't need it. Hallelujah.